Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paula and today I'm gonna be talking about my braces journey. So if you aren't new here, you may have followed my braces journey for the whole time. I've had braces for two years. I had a lingual brace on the top and a standard traditional brace on the bottom. And I have made videos previously about my braces. So I've been meaning to sit down for ages now and just kind of do like a final video and talk about my whole journey and my experience and what it was like and finish off more talking about my retainers because I haven't spoke about that. And also I had a whitening treatment as well so I kind of wanted to go over that. So they're the kind of two main things that will be in this video because I haven't spoke about them before. If you do want to know a lot more in depth about costs and cleaning and eating and foods and things like that, I will link those videos in the description box. I will go over all of those things slightly in this video, but they're in a lot more depth in those videos. So I'd suggest going to watch those. So I had my braces off, well, the first top brace I had off in, I think it was August, so it's been a while. And yeah, I had that one off and then I had the bottom one off the following month. And the reason for that was just to give it time so I actually had some problems with my jaw for my treatment my right jaw here um was really really painful it would lock and that was for quite a few months and then I was lucky enough that it actually <laughs> lucky enough that it did it when it actually was going into the orthodontist so he could really see it and we could assess what was happening. So basically what we thought was that the jaw basically, it just needed to be pulled up. So then I started to wear elastics and fingers crossed it seemed to have solved the problem. So my treatment was supposed to be between sort of 14 months to two years. And I think because of that, it was a little bit longer, but we still had some things to kind of sort out. And then obviously with what has happened in the world, the orthodontist was closed at the time. And then after that, I had to go back and have my retainers fitted. So I have two permanent retainers and I also have retainers that wear at night, but I will get to that. And so some of you may have noticed that I didn't have them on in videos. You wouldn't have seen the top one because it was hidden behind, but you would have noticed the bottom. And so yeah, I just wanted to sit down and do this video. So how cute is this? I want to show you guys this. This is from my orthodontist. So it's the London Lingo Orthodontic Clinic. I don't know if I ever mentioned it in a video before. I'm not sure. And it's a little congratulations card and they've all signed it. It's like leaving school. It feels kind of weird because I have been there like every month for two years. So it's like you kind of get to know the people and they're so lovely, they're so, so nice. And Dr. Asif Chatu is he's simply the best, he's amazing. So if you are looking for someone to go and see in London, I highly recommend him. I will link all his details in the description box. I have a picture of when I first went to see Dr. Chatu and I can't remember if this was my consultation or whether this was kind of once I decided to go ahead with the treatment. I've got it on my phone, but I'll pop it up here so you guys can see, even though it's horrible. Um, I don't look very happy in that picture, but my teeth just, seeing myself now, just how much my face shaped has changed and it has changed my whole face and it just like my whole mouth is more filled out like I had very overcrowded teeth and they all kind of come together and so then my mouth looked quite small and I think now it's sort of like spread out more and yeah I just look different in this picture I think I wear my makeup different I've also had my eyebrows done as well now so that obviously gives more shape to my face as well um but if you look at the pictures of the teeth like you can see how close together they were, how overcrowded they were. Um, like my main issue that I had with my teeth was my front, my top teeth. So they like folded over. That was always the main issue that I saw. And it's not until that you actually see yourself on video more than pictures that you really notice it. And um, so that was like the main problem for me. And then it wasn't until I actually had my consultation and I saw the pictures and things, I actually really saw the bottom as well and how crowded they were. And it's not until you just, you really see that and it's not until as well that you see the changes like so I have all in every single video of me I like I can see the changes as it's moving and even I've did videos where like they were all over the place in the sense that like they were moving and it was like oh but like you really see the change so to see that from the beginning and then I'll put these pictures up which are also super flattering um, and you can see how nice and straight they are. Now my teeth are off center still because I do have an overbite which I didn't get fixed. The reason I didn't have my overbite fixed is for me to get it fixed I'd have to have a jaw surgery. There's two reasons why I don't want to do that at the moment anyway. One cost, I 
I don't, I don't even know how much it costs, but I can envisage it's a lot of money. And I was already paying a lot of money for braces. And two, I don't particularly like the idea of surgery and jaw surgery is very serious. So I don't know, you'd have to put yourself through that. I seen someone's video before and they had jaw surgery and it was like six months recovery or something like that. And I mean, I've already been through all of this. So maybe in the future, but right now I'm really happy with the results and the way it is, but yes, my teeth are still slightly off center and I think you really start to notice these things once you have slightly more perfect teeth in the sense that you start to notice all the little things and everything that's wrong. So yeah, I didn't even know that really I had an overbite. Like I didn't even know what an overbite was until I had my consultation. So I'll say that it's really important to have a consultation. It's important to have a consultation to feel comfortable with who you're gonna be seeing for the next two years or more. Um, or less and just obviously know your options so he was able to give me three different options which was like I was able to get teeth out maybe one tooth out or the jaw surgery and so we worked around those options in the end I never actually had any teeth out and we just started kind of was able to start straight away so it's good to know those things because your mouth is obviously different from everyone else's, so you need to know kind of your options, how long it's going to take, whether you want to put in that commitment, as well as obviously how much it costs as well. So obviously I had overcrowded teeth, overlap teeth, and yeah, you do start to notice it as you're on camera more. You obviously do get comments on YouTube and things like that. And to me, it is something that's always bothered me. Um, I've always wanted to have straight teeth, especially at the front, so I'm so happy that I do now. And I am so much more confident. I just want to like smile more, confident in pictures. Even now, because I'm so, such a long period of never smiling with my teeth, it's weird. And then when I do smile with my teeth, I'm like, do I look too cheesy? Do I look weird? So it's weird of getting used to it, but I'm definitely more confident, more confident on camera. And yeah, so happy. So getting them off was a weird feeling, like not as weird as when getting them on. Getting them on is the weirdest and probably the worst feeling because you can't eat and it just feels so strange, so alien in your mouth. Like I can't even describe it, but getting them off was a good feeling, but it feels weird too because you're so used to something in your mouth. But yeah, they literally just clip it off, remove it, they wash wash it all down, make sure like all the glue is off. And then on the same day he fitted the retainer. So I'll pop a picture up, a really, really another really flattering photo. And that will show you the retainer, which is behind my teeth here. And I also have one here, two fixed retainers. So retainers are also different to your teeth style um, and whether you would need a fixed retainer or not. So I have two fixed retainers. And then I had the scans for the retainers I wear at night. So I wear these at night. This is the bottom one. And then this is the top one. So it's an exact mold of my teeth and they're quite hard plastic. They don't hurt, well, they don't hurt to wear when you have them in, but they do feel the first time you put them in this sofa, tight and it again it feels really strange but you do get used to it so for the first three months i was wearing these every single night and now i've had my another i've gone back for another checkup and i'm now wearing them every alternative night and so i think the the thing with these i think is we're aiming to do i think it's like maybe once a week or something like that like i think you work towards that I think. I'm totally fine with wearing these at night. I actually feel more comfortable that I have the fixed retainer. I can't feel it at all. It doesn't feel like a brace. It doesn't feel like anything. That's just a tiny bit of wire. And this wire lasts for about 10 years, they said. So that you will have to kind of have that obviously replaced. And then these, you just have to be very careful that you don't break them. So when I take them out in the morning to clean them, you just rinse them with cold water. And I use like this Cura Prox soft brush and I just rub it with a little bit of soap, but I also, like once a week or maybe sometimes more, I use this, which I found online. I don't even know what it's called, but I will try and obviously link it. It's totally so cheap, but it opens up, you get a tray, and then basically you fill this up with the water, and then oh, you put in one of these, which is the Retainer Bright tablet which kills just like bacteria and everything. So you pop that in, you pop the retainer in, you close it and then you switch it on. And it makes the loudest vibrating noise. And you do like 15 minutes with that and they come out super clean. So you can just put these in water with that and it worked fine, but I read about this and it just made such a difference. They came out so much cleaner and I am a bit like a clean freak with things like this. So. I really thought that was better to use that. So if you've got retainers and you're looking for something to clean them, 
would recommend. Then I'll touch on cleaning because I pulled out some things here, but I have got did this in another video. But for me, I still use my interdental sticks. You get lots of different colors for different sizes. They're just like invaluable. I also have my water pick water fosser, which was so good when I had braces. I still have the orthodontic head on it actually, because I kind of prefer it. It's nice and soft. And obviously I have my retainers. I love this. This is so good for helping to clean out food when you've got braces and just great. I would use it even if I hadn't had braces. I think it's awesome. And then I actually just recently upgraded to a new toothbrush, very fancy high tech toothbrush. It's like the apple of toothbrushes. I don't know why it's so expensive, but I thought after my two years, I thought I'm going to treat my new teeth to a new toothbrush. Um, I paid all that money for my teeth, so we're going to get a new toothbrush. So this is the IO, Oral-B IO-9. It's very high tech, as I said. Um, it has like all these different like cleaning modes. It has like a screen. It has an app that you can help clean your teeth, which I actually find is really helpful. Um, and it gives you like medals and a score. It's pretty cool. So I upgraded to that and I actually got a new one of these. Actually, they've got like a slightly newer one. Um, let's just grab that one. So yeah, I have spoke about cleaning in another video, so I will link that below as well. And also if you are struggling to eat and you don't know what to eat, then I have a video on that too. So go and check that out. After I also had my hygiene clean, I then, I think it was the week after I had um, a whitening treatment. So I had the Philips Zoom whitening, which I've had it a long time ago in the past, but my teeth just needed a top up. I haven't been using whitening toothpaste when I had braces because if you have ones on the outside, you will end up with kind of your teeth basically are white and then you're left with marks. So I wasn't able to use it. So I just really wanted my teeth to be nice and white. So you go in and I took a picture, I'll pop it up. So you get the blue, you literally get it put around your mouth, like blue light. So you have like four sessions of 15 minutes each session and they have to, basically they apply the gel and then they put the light on for 15 minutes and then they take that off and then they put more gel on and apply that on. It's a pretty boring process. So take your phone if you can, or some headphones for music because you're literally just lying there for like an hour. Just that's it. When it was finished, my teeth looked so white straight away. So I was really happy with that. And then you also get like a home kit. So this is the Philips Zoom home kit. And I still have one left. So I, these are the like syringes with the whitening stuff in it. And you do that like, was it every day? I think it's like an hour a day, every day afterwards. And it's best to do it afterwards. So I did one because I felt like my teeth were quite white enough. And I kept one as so sort of like a top up maybe. I'm going to do it this month, I think, just to kind of like, I don't know, top it up if I feel I need it. And then also we had these made. So I had like molds made. It's a bit like the retainers, but they're like really jelly gummy plastic to just sit with them in. So you sit with them in. So you put the gel in it yourself, you put them in and you sit in it with an for an hour. I just did it during the day because obviously I have to wear my retainers at night. I think that was maybe a quick summary. It could have been a long summary of my journey getting braces. I don't want to go into loads of detail because I kind of have in my other videos. And obviously, if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, whether you want to email me or whether you want to leave a comment below and I will try and answer that. I know I have spoke to some of you before about your treatments. Honestly, I don't mind at all. I love talking to people and trying to help people about it because I am just so much more happier with my teeth. I want to smile. I'm so much more confident. And yeah, when I watch old videos, like I literally just can't watch them. Like I, I find it hard to watch old videos anyway, just cause it's kind of cringy, but now it's like, oh no. So if you want to see my teeth before, just go and watch any video from about two years ago and you'll be able to see that. If there's something that I've not covered, then let me know. If you want to know about costs and go and watch my costs video because I go into a lot of depth because everyone's cost is totally different and I kind of talk about that a lot more. I am super happy if you can't tell already that I've had my braces off. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give this video a like, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.